a general store to many, but to police, an illegal prescription drug operation. Patients take medications, they mix them with other medications, they don't know what to expect, they don't wake up the following morning. The woman who police say is behind the drug raid. Cash for clunkers is running out of gas again, when the government rebate program will officially end. We're watching out for you. This is News 3 at 5 with Sue Manteris and Jim Snyder. Good evening, I'm Sophia Choi. Sue Manteris is off. We want to begin tonight with a follow-up to a story we first brought you last evening. Yeah, it was an afternoon raid at a small mom-and-pop store that uncovered thousands of dollars in illegal prescription drugs. Since the bus, detectives and doctors have been speaking out about the dangers of buying prescription drugs illegally. News 3's Dan Ball is live in front of the store. It's on Lake Mead and Pecos. And Dan, from what you've been able to find out today, it sounds like this is happening quite a bit here in the Valley. Jim, very unfortunate story. Yes, it happens way too often, we're told by Metro Police and North Las Vegas who were involved in this bust. This is the store that we're talking about right here. And what this store and many others have done is they ship the drugs in from Mexico illegally. Then they mark them way up and sell them to non-English speaking customers, the elderly, the uninsured or underinsured. Well, legitimate pharmacists and doctors I spoke with today say this is a dangerous mix. After a month-long investigation of this small mom-and-pop store, detectives raided it Wednesday afternoon looking for illegal prescription drugs. Thursday, they displayed what they found, hundreds of pills, creams, and ointments with a street value of nearly half a million bucks. Very irritated. I mean, they are taking advantage of these patients and putting them at great risk. Professor and pharmacist at the University of Southern Nevada, Dr. Paul Osterman, was disgusted when he heard what was going on inside this store. These patients are being diagnosed by somebody who may not have any medical background, medical training. You're talking with somebody who's non-licensed. What kind of training have they had? You know, pharmacists, like physicians, have their doctorates. And so we've had ample training in what to expect, what to do, and how to take care of these patients. Metro says all the drugs were shipped in illegally from Mexico. Dr. Osterman says that's another red flag because a patient won't know where the drugs have been. We don't know what kind of conditions they've been kept in. And so these patients may end up with a worse condition than they started off with and not even get their initial condition treated properly. There are all sorts of types of things that can occur. Fatal reactions, drug interactions, patients take medications, they mix them with other medications, they don't know what to expect, they don't wake up the following morning. Detectives say stores like this prey on non-English speaking patients and the uninsured. These are patients that are being taken advantage of. But Dr. Oserman says there is help out there. Every drug company has what they call compassionate care programs. If patients can't afford the medications and they need them, they will be provided. There are a number of clinics that will make sure that the uninsured, underinsured are provided what they need. And back here live in front of that store that was raided yesterday, you know, I was talking a little bit further about those compassion programs with that pharmacist and doctor you just heard from, and he said if you walk into any pharmacy and ask them about the compassion programs, they will get you the information about the drug companies that offer those programs. Also, if you do have a English-speaking barrier problem and you're trying to get help, if you go into any urgent care or hospital, they usually have people that speak different languages, especially Spanish, they can help you. So officers and doctors and pharmacists say before, Four, you seek help from these illegal places getting your prescription drugs. Do the research. There is help out there. We're live at Lake Mead and Pecos. Stan Ball, News 3. Back to you in the studio, Jim. That's good to know. There is that safety net, Dan. Thank you. The drugs found during that raid include several different antibiotics, birth control and hormone pills, along with different types of cardiac medications for people with high blood pressure, and even a horse tranquilizer called clembuterol, which is sometimes used by athletes and bodybuilders.